Welcome back. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Mr. Rudy is facing a problem with his Eclipse IDE. He said he is not finding to start with. Okay. Do you have any problem with your IDE? Eclipse ID. Mr. Ignatius. And uh, no, you know, I just, uh, I haven't even used it. You know, I, I sent it my laptop to, to the shop. They said okay. what, it needed was, what it needed was tune up. So okay. They, they, so you they need it up. Four, four more gigabytes memory, right? He, he, no, he said Random. that. Uh, I don't I don't need it that uh, what I need is to know but because my computer can't take more than four okay it yeah. can't take more than four yeah so what do you need they did it you know something like you know like a tune up so it, the download is faster now okay mm -hmm. okay so yeah. they are making two separate memory for your computer or what they are uh, going to do no they already did it they said what they did is uh you know you clean up everything you know of a whole like of a you know you know like a car turn up a car they said that okay. you know laptop need to be you got, they have to clean the memory to change you know change everything you know, bring it up to standard. But I noticed that it's, it's now faster. You know, you know okay. how we download things, yeah, it goes faster than, than okay. it used to be. Mm -hmm. All right, so you don't have computer right now? Okay. I do, I do. Oh, you have, you have, you, I have you it, already yeah. got yeah. back. I got it back, got yeah. It back. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Rudy is the host. Could you please share your screen? Yes. All right. What operating system you are using? Mac? Uh, yes. Mac? Mac. Mac, okay. Command spacebar, just go to press command and spacebar together. I think your computer also a little slow. Spotlight search, it says. Yeah, it's not showing on my oh. screen. I will uh, okay. stop. Share again, please. Fantastic. So this is your screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what problem are you facing? You said you don't know from where I can start, right? Yes. Is this the one? Yes. Java project. OK. Go to Java project. Name of the project will be capital cap, okay. Name it just Java class. Oh no, not class because class is a keyword. Java training, say for example. This one, so okay. Okay. Bigger. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Yes, Java training is there, okay. So inside the SRC folder, 
module info.java we don't need it you can clean it or just you can keep it no problem right button click and delete we don't need it okay so src is nothing but a folder right empty folder yeah so inside this folder you can create another package even you can create multi packages no problem okay go to package create a package and name it inheritance say for example package name is inheritance okay package info.java we don't need it just delete it okay we can create a class okay it can be anything it can be anything a class you can you can name it human if you want or you can name it car if you want okay or let's you can name it anything whatever you want mm -hmm. okay let's put house house okay house dot java okay Fantastic. Now, house can have properties. What properties it can have? House can have also name, right? Yeah. So go inside the house class, press enter, 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 enter twice. Okay. And just type main command spacebar. No, I said main. You need main method, right? Uh, main yeah. control spacebar, command spacebar. Press command, then hit spacebar. Oh, man. Is it control or? or co yeah, control. But and spotlight in search. Mac, in Mac, it will be again, again, type again. Main command space bar. No, no space. Again, you have to retype. Command space bar. Press command, then hit spacebar. Yeah, that's what it comes out, spotlight search. Okay, let me show you. Let me reclaim hosts, and I am the host now. Okay. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. So for example, I have another, can you see my screen now? Plus, yeah. yeah. And it is name is boy student. Okay. And I'm not taking this main method. Okay, I'm taking it. And I don't need it. I delete it. And after deletion, I feel, ah, why I deleted it? I need main method. I just type main, then just press command, space bar, out. Oh. It's showing you spotlight screen? Yeah. Okay. Let's try differently. Main, and I say control space, but I think, yes, sorry. It is control space, but then enter. Okay, 
So this is not command. So it is, it will be. Control. Control. Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, you are the host again. Okay. Now, we the software development engineer in test, we use, yes, just, yes. We use this shortcuts key very frequently, okay? We use it. Uh, maybe most of the instructors, they don't teach it, but I want you to use all these shortcuts because it will save time, okay? Um, at the end of the day, everyone wants to hire who works a little faster, who knows a little more than others, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you can now create object. How you can create object? Inside the main method, you have properties. You can have a lot of properties and a lot of methods, but without properties, you can also create object. To create object, we don't need properties. We need just plus, right? We have plus, house. So type house. And house is class. Class is always capital, remember. So house cannot be small cap. Yeah. House, then you need new keyword, right? Yeah. Okay, after house you need also reference variable. Mm. It can be H1, meanings house one, H1. Reference variable, variable is always small cap, remember. Variable cannot be capital, okay? H1, a space then equal to, space then new keyword, new, yes, house then parenthesis, parenthesis will be together always, parenthesis never be separated okay then semicolon right you see still there is error indicating red marks means error why can they're not close tell enough us? they're not close enough yeah they are close enough still there is error oh why because house is capital, you know? Oh, yes. Okay. Now, object is created. Now, if interviewer asks you, how do you create object? Can you explain? We create object from class. We type the class name first, then reference variable. It can be reference variable, can be anything. It can be H1, it, it can be small house, small cap, all house one. Okay, it can be my name, it can be your name. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then, why do you create object? Next question is, why do you create object? We create object to access all the methods and properties of a class. Do we have Properties for house class? No. Do you have method? No. Then why you create object? Because we want to access all the properties and methods of house class. Then if you want to access them, we have to define the or create properties for house class. Okay. Let's go to house class, go to house class. Go to house class means not here on the top. 
on the top yes press enter okay one more enter okay now you can create properties you know how to create properties first you use name of the data types right first you have to tell what types of data you are going to store inside the variable if it is string then type string if it is integer, then type int. Now, string is always capital. Cap capital letter. Capital letter yes. yeah. String, okay. The name of the variable. You can take any variable. What property the house can have. Yes, you want okay. But it should be meaningful, you know. House can have a name, house can have windows, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. Doors. Yeah, door. It can have doors, okay? Okay. Type it doors, okay? No problem. Doors, okay? Equal to there will be space in between equal sign and doors make it readable okay always space yeah many people like to write very congested please don't do it okay how many doors you have in your house five okay terminate it terminate with semicolon, now there is red mark. Why, Ignatius? It's, it's, it's supposed to be semicolon before, before uh, apostrophe. It's okay. No, no, no. Semicolon. Semicolon, okay. Hello. Put semicolon. Still, there is, you can just check. You can hover over in the uh, red mark. No, just keep it. Just keep five semicolon. You see red mark on the right, just hover over your mouse there. Okay? Yes. You see, type mismatch cannot convert from in Integer. to string. Ah, uh, okay. No. You said it is what type? String. So string. string always comes with inverted comma. Remember? String always comes with inverted comma, yes. Pipe will be within inverted comma. Okay. So five is a number, but when you put inside inverted comma, it becomes string. You understand me? Yeah. But just take out the inverted comma. Take out. Just like five. Okay. Now, does number five is string? No. No. So it should be integer. Yeah. So instead of no, just keep it. Just keep it. Semicolon. Just doors. What? kind of variable it is it is integer so just erase string delete string and just type int int is always small cap right perfect now you know doors is not it's a number how many doors it's a number it's integer, right? Yeah. It is not string. So now you can differentiate differences between integer and string. Okay. And this house can have address. What will be data type? Address. Addressed. Address. Address. Uh -huh. Will it be string or integer? 
integer. Address will be integer. The first separate... uh, number integer of the address. If the street is address in address, we have to say five Lexington Avenue, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, and you know, so it will be string. Okay. Just type address, address, okay, equal to, so string, it will be inside quotation mark. Just you need practice. Your concept is clear, I understand, but you have to practice, okay? Now you can create method for this house. What house can do, okay? Just, okay, just type void first, void, void and name of the, name of the method, dwell, yes, and Method always comes with parentheses. Remember? Methods always come with parentheses and parentheses never be separated. Together, yes. Then, no. Then, calibrations. Calibrations. Method has scope, remember, enter. I say it. class has a scope, meaning class has opening calibrations and closing calibrations. Same way, method also does have scope, meaning opening calibrations and closing calibrations. Now, which, which scope is larger or bigger? Class. Class, definitely, because inside the class, you have method, method properties, and... and main method. Yeah. Always remember, inside house class, you have properties, method, and main method, three. Yeah. This is interview question. What do you have inside a class? You have to tell, inside class, we have states, and states are properties, attributes, fields and we have methods and main method okay so you can say uh, system.out.println and you can write any statement no system.out print ln print ln and out dot print ln. Print ln is a method. So there will be a parenthesis and semicolon. Inside the parenthesis, you can write any statement, any statement you want. Now, beautiful house is a number. Uh, it is a string. string. If it is string, always inside inverted comma, right? Beautiful house. Yeah. Okay. Now just run it. Right button click. Java application. You see? Nothing happens. Why? 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 Because method is a block of code only executes or run when you call by name. You have to call it by name, right? To call it, you have to create object and you already created object. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now you can access all the properties and methods of house class using the, what are you going to use, Mr. Ignatius? How you can access all these properties and methods? Um, the key to go inside the house. Yes, the key is the object we created. Okay. To go inside the house and use your TV, whatever inside your house, okay? To use your bedroom, to use your kitchen, you have to access, you have to enter into the house, right? Yeah. Right. To enter into the house, you have to create object first, then use the a reference variable to the object with dot operator. Oh, okay. Which one is reference variable? Um, H1, house one. H1, H1, so? Yes. So you have to use it, right? Uh-huh. So, yes, just type H1. not out of the scope, you are going out of the scope. You have to be inside main method scope. Yes. H1 dot, you see, you have a lot of methods, a lot of, um, yeah, you can use dual method. Enter. Okay, just run now. You are calling by name. The name of the method is dwell. And you see, beautiful house is there. So how um, you can access also the properties? Uh, by using... The same way we can, same system. way we can. But in that case, we have to type system.out.println where here also inside the main yes yes system that out dot print Allen. okay enter and inside the print Allen method Inside the parenthesis, just use the reference variable. What is the reference variable? Address. No, I oh. said reference variable. Uh, H1. H1, type H1, dot, dot. Oh. No, H1 is not string, this is Reference variable, yeah. I yeah. said. So each one dot, you see? Now you can use the address. You can access address. You can access whatever you have. You have door. Okay. Okay. Now execute it. Right button click. You see, mm -mm. doors don't. five. Mm. Same way you can access also another property. What do you have? Mm. You have address. Well, we have the. Uh, you have door. address. Address, yes. Mm. Boy, oh no. Mm. System dot out dot Allen. System dot out. You can copy if you don't want to type.
h1 dot address yes okay That is is Philadelphia fine, but always you have to keep close the method with parentheses. You cannot keep spaces in between method and parentheses, method name and parentheses. I said mm -hmm. parentheses and method name will be close together. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot do it. This is convention. Convention means rules you must follow. Okay. Okay. Or your project manager will be yelling at you. Hey, Rudy, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it needs to be organized and clean. Yes. Well organized and clean. Yeah. Okay. Now you want to inherit. So inside inheritance, you can create another class. Inside inheritance package, Here. not there, no. In the package explorer, where is package explorer? In your project. Project, inheritance, right button click. Create class, another class. Create another class. I said, have ah. you created? Yeah, class. Yeah. And name it any any name. Public static void main, right? You click this one. No, we say, inside inheritance package, create another class. You okay, can, you can check it main method or not. That really doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Okay, Fine. and then create yeah. class. Yeah, you created a class already. Randall. Right? This is yeah. a class. Okay. Now, you want to inherit from house class, right? So what do you have to do? First, you have to extend. Use extend keyword after rodol rondol randol no after randol plus extends s extends extend right extends extends n d s d s DS, yeah, okay. yes. extends. Space, then name of the parent class from where you are going to inherit. You are going to inherit from house class, right? Yeah. Just type house. Okay, now you are ready to inherit from house class by Randolph, okay? So go inside the class scope. Scope, yes. Press enter. Okay, then type main. No, main, no, main, type main again. Control spacebar, enter, okay. Now, to inherit, you have to create first object, object of child class. What is your child class? Randall. Then you need a reference variable. Reference variable can be R1. R1, okay. Then space. Then, no, then equal sign, 
then new keyword remember how do you create object no no i say new keyword just delete everything okay fine 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 equal sign space new keyword new 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 i say new not own new okay space and then class name what is class name class name is run dog parenthesis then semicolon So new randog is new object and R1 is a reference variable to the randog. Is this now, one correct or should be? Uh... It can be anything I say. You can use your name. You can no, 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 no. Oh, it should no. be variable. Re should reference be. variable, re variable cannot be capital. Always hmm. remember. Okay, now how can you access methods and properties? You know, now you created object. object you can yeah. use the reference variable. Reference variable is R1. Just mm -hmm. enter and just type R1 dot. You see, now you can access address from house. You can access doors from house. It is properties, right? If it is properties, you have to put inside system dot out dot prenelum. Ah. No, just deletes. Okay. So to access the properties, always you have to go with system dot out prenelum. Then parenthesis. No parenthesis always together. I say you cannot separate parenthesis from okay, and just inside the print ln method. Okay, r r one dot. Now you see address is there, door is there. You can choose anything. You you are being able to access Andrew. from house properties, right? Yeah. Are you understanding? Yeah. Okay. Now, inside the house class, you have also a method. Can you access it? Yes. Okay. Enter. R dot one, R one dot. Dwell is method. Dwell. Can you see? Just right button click and see whether you can access it. You see? Randolph doesn't have anything. Randolph is empty handed. No properties, no methods. But you are using properties and method from where? from house class. Mm -hmm. Now you understand the concept. Yeah. From the house. Now why you are doing it? Why we are using inheritance concepts in programming language? Because we want to extend. We can extend, we can inherit, and we don't need to create the properties again and again. Yeah. We don't need to create the methods again and again. Uh -huh. you know? We can use the same method again and again without rewriting them, without creating them. Okay, so yeah. by inheriting, you are saving tons of time. Yeah, you are saving it's like time. A 